What's going on, BFL fam? I'm Carlos. This is Steven. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Club. Today, Ani from Nishan, Istanbul. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thanks so much for tuning in today, everyone. We really do appreciate it, as always. Hope you're doing well. Nishane's a house that has come a long way since it first came out a few years ago. I have a couple myself, yes. Most of their compositions are just awesome. I agree. And they cover a lot of different genres of perfume styles as well. Oh yeah, Vain and Naive is fruity, Colonies is citrusy, so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, they're all pretty opulent smelling. Yeah. This was released this year at Essence. Okay. Hopefully we'll get to go next year and see all the new releases. Yeah, for sure. But we still got to uh, smell it anyway, and I'm grateful. It's by Cecile Zorokian. I love her work. She's a brilliant perfumer, young, a rising star, and she's just really, really awesome. I know. I love Tango by Mask Milan. Yes. Also done by her really rich amber. And that's definitely a DNA of most of her fragrances. They have a lot of body to them. Dense is a word that I kind of like to use. and. Also, some of them are very syrupy. They're just full, very full, and yeah. I love that in fragrances that I tend to love, 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 or use it that type, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the notes for Ani are bergamot, green notes, ginger, pink pepper, black currant, Turkish rose, cardamom, patchouli, cedar, vanilla, benzoin, ambergris, musk, and sandalwood. Mm. Wow, that's interesting. Just the spray in the air alone is... Oh. This is the one that I sprayed in the bottle when I first got it. Just a little bit and then oh, I and you dabbed it on your dabbed arm. it on really? my arm and it was so strong. Just from that one little teeny teeny dab. Oh that's good. That's great. Oh. The Turkish rose, the cardamom, the black currant. It's just so full and oh, vanilla and amber and benzoin. A lot of my favorite notes. <laughs> it doesn't evolve much. I kind of get that whole hodgepodge if you can believe it, in the opening blast. Okay. And I just love it to death. Thank you. Really, really, I do. This is one of my favorite releases of this year, hands down. Yeah, this is amazing. This is, that blend of the gourmand ingredients, I know vanilla is listed, but I personally get like a slight cocoa vibe from mm -hmm. it. A little powdery, very delectable. Um, and that with the cardamom note and also the benzoin, which kind of adds that vanillic overtone itself. It's just so well done. It's such a spectacular release. This is a fragrance that walks with wow. you wherever you go. It is following you and you are just brilliantly leaving mm. a beam of light <laughs> everywhere you go. It's, <laughs> I love when I get excited. I'm sorry, you guys. Calm down, <laughs> calm down, calm down. Nothing to apologize about, man. <laughs> it just really, this makes me very happy. This is an aroma that just makes me so happy. I, I can't explain why I get so giddy, but it just makes me happy. And it's a brilliant, brilliant composition, I think. And I can definitely see why you're so excited. It's very posh, it's very luxurious. The notes that are put together are done in such a way that they just work in such great harmony with one another. Yeah, I do think that the gourmand notes are definitely the strongest in this composition. But yeah, you do get the current note, you do get the citrus in the opening, but mostly you get that, that benzoin and the cocoa vibe that I spoke about and the vanilla. It's such an amazing fragrance. And the vanilla is not a juvenile, you know, no, not at all. It's it's like just absolutely creamy and amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's great. It's <laughs> I, great. Love I love it. it. I, I, I love it. I love, love it. it. I love it. <laughs> I really enjoy this one too, man. I can't get my nose off the test strip, really. Wow, it's so good. That's question quality. Would Mrs. Reddle like it? I think she would. I think yeah. so too. Yeah, she typically <laughs> likes sweeter scents. Yeah, so I think she would enjoy this one both on me and on herself. Now, this might be a little heavy for the warm months here in the humid New York City. This would shine at its best, I think, in colder months, in yeah, my opinion. I agree with that. Plus, I think a lot of the notes are evocative of the colder months, mm -hmm. so for sure. So you get every penny's worth out of this fragrance. Performance is overnight. I That little dab lasted overnight. I kid you not. I cannot no. tell you how powerful and perfectly it performed on my skin and it just works with my skin some yeah. fragrances work better than others 
And this one just works for me, and I give it a two thumbs up. Enthu- As do I. Enthusiastic <laughs> thumbs up. As do I. All right, I'm going to part with a little bit just for you guys because I cannot be so excited and not share with you. So let's do a five mil for one lucky person out there. All you have to do is subscribe to Broken Fragrance Lover. Subscribe to Mr. Red Lessons. Thank you. Like this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this video. And that's it. You'll be entered, and good luck to all of you. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon to miss notifications and reviews, the content giveaways, and all the fragrant fun always happening right here. And sometimes fragrant orgasms at the <laughs> Take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time.